here in Albany, New York. I'm gonna take you inside this double-decker Walmart. So you can see that these carts are a little different. See that peg right there? I'll show you what that's for. Okay, first glance here, it might just look like a normal Walmart so far. But as we look here to the left, there's your escalator to the second floor, and there are carts coming down the middle rack. Traveling with my cart. Up an escalator. Okay, now I'm traveling down. With my cart. There goes my cart. I feel like I could do this all day. <laughs> I broke it. My cart's not moving. Oops. Okay, time to go. Okay, I'm leaving the Albany area right now. Got Jax up here in his favorite spot. I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of specifics. I'm not in a very good mood this morning. Uh, but first, before I forget, this Walmart, very interesting. I talked to an associate who told me that this is one of three uh, multi-story Walmarts in the country that she knows about. And it used to be a um, Sam's Club upstairs, Walmart downstairs or the other way around. Anyway. The Sam's Club outgrew its location, moved. Walmart said, well, hey, we'll just occupy both floors. The cart thing just really threw me off. That's something I've never seen before. Anyway, long story short, I am just not feeling it today. I lost all of my footage from Albany, New York. The Destroyer and the Visitor Center and everything that I did yesterday, completely gone. I shot a time lapse on the same camera edited together the time-lapse, forgot that there was still video files on that SD card, deleted all of the pictures from the time-lapse after I finished the time-lapse, and then just went, oh my gosh. <sighs> um, so I'm not gonna stick around. I'm not gonna redo the entire day and pretend like it's the first time I've seen it. So, leaving Albany, heading to Vermont, I will be back to the East New York area when I come down the coast to explore more Eastern New York, but first I've got Maine and Boston and Hoosick, Vermont, uh, no, I'm still in New York. Hoosick, New York is where I'm at. But first, this street corner here, no street signs anywhere. None of the, the entire intersection is unmarked. Okay, check out this stuff. Well, that sign says Vermont, but we're not in Vermont yet, so I don't know what's going on. Old tractors. Okay, wait, this is cool. I love the hot dog. The hot dog, Batman, and Superman. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that my GPS is wrong. I think we are in Vermont. I think this is like the Vermont welcome along this highway. Pretty cool. A plane, a bunch of horse cows and moose cows. Okay. And then this building over here. Well, I don't know why everything is painted like a cow. The pig, the bear. Huh. Interesting. Get the Statue of Liberty. Big cowboy boot and gnomes on the roof. Uh, I don't know. The town of Hoysik is in New York. It's not in Vermont, so I have no idea why there's a Vermont uh, store right there. But yeah. 
but that's just odd, whatever. counted uh, four campsites uh, on the way up here so I'm gonna go pick one of those real quick I got to the dead end again big shout out to freecampsites.net for providing the uh, information on this place I'll pop uh, the coordinates the GPS coordinates that they provide to where I'm parked right now and they're calling this let me see George Aiken wilderness in the National Forest of Vermont so this is a free camping spot for Vermont National Forest uh, no developed trails though or anything um, and you can't I'm not sure I'm not gonna say yes or no some states you cannot just disperse camp wherever you want it has to be an actual campground so I'm just gonna say there's four campgrounds four campsites at this particular spot and I would not just park wherever you want so let me uh, go pick one but I wanted to just walk up here to the little dead-end turnaround and see if there's any camping up here as well and yeah, this is a campground. It's a very flat, level spot with a fire ring, lots of sun, so, okay. We'll call it five campsites here. This is probably the best one for me. Let's see here. AT&T, one bar of 4G. Okay, I will not be uploading any videos from this location, but I will when I get out of here. I feel like I scored pretty good here. Lots of shade. Lots of room. Lots of Vermont nature. Big cool rocks for jacks to climb on. Some little trails through here. The quiet though is, oh man. I'm making a few uh, personal changes as well I'm um, doing the same thing I did last year about this time. I am cutting alcohol out of my life completely through the end of the year. And the thing that I'm changing this time is I am also cutting soda out of my life. I only drink diet soda, but not that that's any better for you than regular. Um, water is good. Water is tasty. Water is working for me the last three days. So, uh... You know, if you happen to see me on the road, just be mindful of that. I know I like to, in the past, talk about drinking all the different beers from all the different places, but, you know, I just ask that you respect that. This is just something I want to do, again, because it made me feel really good at the end of last year. And so, yeah, no alcohol, no soda for the rest of the year 2016. Also, three days ago, I started back up my 14-minute exercise drill thing. I'm going to try to do that every single day now. I didn't do it yesterday. I skipped yesterday. So I've only done it twice. Did it this morning. Because living the RV life, it's really hard to, I don't know, it's really hard to stay healthy and do stuff. I mean, I have my bike. I have my canoe, my kayak. I mean, I can get out and do stuff, but um, I want to keep the exercise up, stuff like that. Um, basically, I want to I feel better about myself health-wise right now. It's what I want to do. So, yeah. Jacksimus, where do you want to go, buddy? You want to lead the way? Okay. What do you think of Vermont, Jax? Yeah, Vermont's pretty cool, right? They still got grass to chew on. They got rocks to climb. Can climb a rock? You can, oh, good jump. That was really good. That's yucky water. No, don't touch that.
actually to uh, help with Jax's chewing my plants, I have actually planted some organic uh, cat grass in here. I got three of those ones from PetSmart that are in the plastic, threw those away, added my own dirt and filled this entire thing so that he can just have a buffet of grass here, uh, wait for that to uh, sprout. I still feel like I can train him off of eating my plants. Uh, oh, I just love my magnet so much with the RV and the music playing from it and all the nature, and the camping scene. I mean, it's just, that's one of the best magnets I've ever got that really, really works for me. Oh, speaking of magnets, let's put a new sticker on the map. Okay, first we're finally adding Lake Ontario. Oh my gosh, is that overdue? <laughs> I just kept forgetting. All right, and there's Vermont. Stick that guy right there. Okay. We'll be in New Hampshire here in a couple days. We'll get to Portland, Maine. And then when we come down the coast, we'll hit Boston. I'll try to get into Delaware, Rhode Island, and then New Jersey. Well, we'll hit New York City in a couple places in East New York, and then New Jersey, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. We'll talk about that later. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.